So the other day I was playing around with this camera, the camera that's shooting this right now. I was playing around with the digital image stabilizer that's in it. And it kind of comes in two little flavors. So it has just enable and it has enhanced. So I was like, what does is, what is enhanced mean? What is that? I don't get it. I turned it on to see and I, without really being able to see it on and off, I was like, seems to be doing the same until I actually reviewed the video. So we're gonna talk about this today. So how this is useful, when we may want to actually use it, and we're gonna try it on two lenses outside of the lens that this is on right now. So three lenses, we're gonna try it on three lenses. So we're gonna try it on the 10 to 18 STM, and that one has image stabilization. So we're gonna, cause it's a nice wide lens. We're gonna try it on a older, this is a Tamron, Tamron, 17 to 50, 2.8. So we're gonna try it on that. And we're gonna try it on the good old Nifty 50. And this is the STM version of the lens as well. Because those two lenses have no image stabilization at all. Will it help? Will the electronic image stabilization help those two lenses when using video? Let's go outside and look. Okay, so we're shooting with the 10 to 18 STM lens uh, on full auto. And basically, this is just with the camera's IS. So this is using the lens IS, not the electronic. And you can see maybe how shaky it is. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna switch on the electronic, but not in enhanced, hold on. Okay, so now we have the exact same thing, but we're running just the standard, again, lens IS and turning the electronic IS on, but not enhanced. Did you notice any difference? Same path, walking the same route, okay? I also want you guys to see how much of that garage we can get in. We kind of get this one and this one in the shot. All right, now we're gonna turn on enhanced. Okay, so this is enhanced again with the 10 mil full wide. You will notice that we have a bit more of a crop that happens, okay? But is the stabilization any better? You tell me. I think it actually may be, but you really need to make sure you have a good wide lens like this or else the crop's gonna really kick in. All right, so let's try this now on some lenses that have no IS at all. So the first one here we're gonna do is the Tamron. This is the 17 to 50, 2.8. So we're gonna set it at 2.8 and at full wide. And see, again, one pass with it, no stabilization, one pass with the enhanced on. Okay, so this is the Tamron 17 to 50 with no image stabilization at all. The lens has none, body has none. Same kind of scene. My guess it would be a lot shakier. I'm also gonna just do some quick shots right here just so you guys can see it, hold on. Alright, so same lens, we have the uh, digital enhanced IS turned on and I almost can't get my arm far enough away. All right, so just so you can tell. But how is it for stability? That's really the question. Is it okay? Is it useful? Is it better? Let's go take some extra shots, shall we? Oh yeah. Now we're going to switch to the little nifty 50. Now I'm not going to do a self thing because this with a standard crop and what the digital crop is going to do is going to push this into probably close to 100 millimeter. So let's just play around. Normally I can't use this thing for video very good because it's too shaky. Let's find out.
guys so there you go that's a quick test I'm back on the 50 right now 1.8 we're gonna go inside I'm gonna take a look at the footage you guys have seen it already I'll tell you what I think is it worth putting the digital IS on is it worth using the enhanced especially on lenses like this that have no lens IS let's find out all right my friends there you have it we've gone outside we've tested the 10 to 18 the 17 to 50, the 50 1.5, one lens with IS, the other two with no IS, <clears throat> especially the ones with no IS on them. You can really see that, 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 that the digital IS definitely does help. But one of the things that you want to be sure of is that you don't want to be moving around fast. You know, what's one of the biggest issues with any kind of electronic stabilization is that if you are moving quickly, so you're whipping your camera around all over the place, that's when you're going to get that weird jello-y look that kind of happens when electronic computerized stabilization tries to go into effect and tries to figure out what you're doing. And that you don't want. So if you can keep yourself fairly steady, small movements, little pans, then I would say that the electronic actually helps a fair bit. And I think I may start using it, especially with my 17 to 50 and a 50 mil, because they're almost unusable without it. Just be aware, like I showed you, with the enhanced, you do get a fair bit of a crop. I would say that, example on the 50, and I would say it puts you close to 100 with that actual enhanced IS. So it's cropping into the image so that it has room to be able to counter every little shake that you do. All right, my friends, I'm going to leave you there. Digital image stabilization and enhanced image stabilization. Kind of cool, as long as you use them in the right way, sparingly, when they're needed. All right, I'm going to leave you there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we will talk to you again in the next video. Later, my friends.